So, uh, <clears throat> for congregational prayer this morning and for the offering, this morning's offering, as I mentioned, is for denominational ministry shares. Next week is for Haiti. Um, for denominational ministry shares, remember that... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't have COVID, I promise. <coughs> denominational ministry shares allow us to pool our resources together and to, uh, to do missions throughout this world in a way that we couldn't normally do as individual churches. Um, when we pool our resources together, we can make <coughs> a much better impact. Does anybody have a lozenge or something? Because apparently, sure, something. I'd been a disaster this morning. Yeah, I owe you. Thank you. All right. <coughs> oh, good. Thank you, Reverend Beza. Appreciate that. Oh, and a second gl glass of. Oh, I love you all. <laughs> You're wonderful. Wow, fantastic. Okay, denominational ministry shares. I may not have sounded enthusiastic because I was busy, you know, choking, but the, tr the reality is, is that denominational ministry shares are fantastic, right? So if you look at an organization like World Vision, which is a great organization, absolutely fantastic, but if you look at an organization like World Vision, they have to spend a, a ton of their money, relatively speaking, on advertising, on getting the word out there and trying to recruit people to come and support families and so on and so forth. Whereas through the ties that we have as a denomination, we don't have to spend nearly as much money for our internal ministries that we do in advertising because we're all connected and we've got a network of people and so that means that we are not spending nearly as much on overhead as comparable organizations doing other work in the world and so it's absolutely fantastic in terms of um, prayer for congregational prayer um, just continue again to pe pray for pete and hinka uh, there is nothing new there per se um, yeah, Pete is just um, carrying along, and so is Hinka, and, and they are continuing to feel very blessed by the family that they have around them um, and the friends uh, who have been expressing their love. Um, so <clears throat> please continue to be in prayer for them. Let us come together in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so very much for this time together again. Lord, we are so grateful for the gift that you have given us, the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, who came as a human being and as your Son, fully divine <coughs> and fully human, who walked among us and talked with us, who felt the same temptations that we do, who felt the same struggles, tiredness, sickness and worry, and yet through it all he never sinned. And by his sinless life and his sacrificial death, we have the opportunity to be washed by his blood and to be brought <clears throat> into his kingdom, to be adopted as his children, as your children, O oh God, as his co-heirs as his brothers and sisters and friends. Lord, thank you also for the gift of your Holy Spirit who lives within us. Thank you so much for your gift of your scriptures that teach us and guide us. Thank you so much for the gift of one another, our fellow believers. And thank you so much for the gift of this world, the people in it to whom we can proclaim your good news. 
Lord, help us as we come to your scriptures. Guide us that we may hear what you would have us hear. And that it would comfort us and strengthen us for the week ahead and for days and weeks and years beyond. Lord, we pray. We pray for Pete and Hinka. We pray, O oh God, for Mark and Henny. We pray, O oh God, for all of those who mourn among us. For the widow. For the orphan. For those who are struggling with school. Those who are struggling with sickness. Those who are struggling with work. Or with a lack of work. For those who are struggling with loneliness or sadness or depression. For those who are struggling with anxiety and those who are struggling <clears throat> just to get stuff done. Lord, we pray for your merciful hand upon us all. We pray for this community as a whole. We pray for the other churches in, in Athens and Addison and the surrounding area. O oh God, would you bless each one? And would you, O oh God, hold us to your scriptures? May we all walk in the light of your word and your salvation. We pray, O oh God, for the people of Haiti and all of the struggles that they have. We pray, O oh God, that as you inspire us to give next week, we may do so cheerfully and generously and in a way that honors you. Lord, we pray as well for denominational ministry shares. Lord, we thank you for the many, many things we are able to do together as a denomination that we could not do if we were apart. We pray that our tithes and offerings today would also be pleasing in your sight. Oh God, we pray for our upcoming classes meeting in the middle of October. We pray that you would guide us there as, as a classes as we talk and wrestle through things. And even though this is going to be another um, online meeting, Lord, we pray that your will would be done and that we would be able to have the prayerful and discerning discussion that we need to have during that time. Father, we pray for all of those who are nominated for the office of elder or deacon. Lord, we pray for the vote for affirmation of elders and deacons' names next week. And Lord, we pray for our country as our country votes tomorrow, O oh God. Lord, regardless of what we think about an election happening at this time or which party we stand behind or whether we stand behind no party, Lord, we pray that your will would be done, that you would be glorified, and that those in power in Canada would come to know you, O oh God, that they would worship you, Lord, we know that there are injustices throughout this country. We know that there are inequities throughout this country. We know that there are struggles throughout this country. We know, O oh God, that you have given your people a ministry of reconciliation. <clears throat> May we, together with the leaders of this country, help to bring that ministry and strengthen this country not for our own sake but for your name's sake we pray this all in Jesus name amen